Good evening. Good evening. I am Max Detweiler. I'm a talent agent. Well, at least I was from the story I'm about to tell you. Want to know something? I love rich people. I love being around rich people. I love how they live. And I also love how I live when I'm around rich people. And I also love what rich people's money can do for me. You know what I'm saying? Now, this family was rich, very rich. Now, I was a close friend of the family. The kids even got, got to call me Uncle Max. However, their father, Captain Von Trapp, wasn't about to allow me to exploit his children. Now, at first, I didn't even know that they had talent in the first place. Now, this is how I found out what a gold mine these children were. It happened like this. Picture it. Salzburg, Austria, the 1930s. The story starts out about a woman named Maria. She had her heart out on setting on being a nun. Now, she wasn't even cut out for being a nun. She always had the abbey in an uproar.
governess. You don't look much like a governess. And you don't look much like a sea captain. It's the dress. You'll have to put on another one. But I don't have another one. You see, when we entered the abbey, all our worldly clothes were given to the poor. What about this one? The poor didn't want this one. <laughs> now, Fräulein Maria, I don't know how much the Mother Abbess has told you. Not much. You are the twelfth in a long line of governesses who have come to look after my children since their mother died. I trust you'll be an improvement on the last one. She stayed only to the house. What's wrong with the children? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with the children, only the governesses. Now, I expect discipline to be maintained at all times. This house cannot be run without discipline. Yes, sir. Sound your signal, you will step forward and give your name. Fräulein Maria, you will listen carefully. Liesel. Friedrich. Louisa. Kurt. Marta. This is Gretchen. Now, here's your whistle. Just us. Will you please tell me your names again and how old you are? I'm Liesel. I'm 16, and I don't need a governess. I'm glad you told me. We'll just be friends. I'm Friedrich. I'm 14, and I'm impossible. Who told you that? Fräulein Josephine, four governesses ago. <laughs> I'm Louisa. I'm 13, and I think that dress is the ugliest one I've ever saw. Don't say that. Why not? Don't you think it's ugly? Of course, but Fräulein Helda was the ugliest. I'm Kurt. I'm 11, and I'm in Kurt. I'm Marta. I'm going to turn 7 on Tuesday, and I'd like a pink parasol. She's my favorite color, too. And you're Gretel. And you're 5 years old? Mom, you're practically a lady. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I don't know the first thing about being a governess. You don't know anything at all? No, I need lots of advice. Well, the first thing is to tell Father to mind his own business. And never be on time for dinner. And always play for sleep. And always blow your nose during dessert. Don't believe a word they say, Fraulein Maria. And why not? Because I like you. <laughs> That's nice, Gretel. But you must all go out and exercise while I get settled in my room.
nice things. Daffodils, <coughs> green meadows, skies full of stars, raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens, bright-covered <coughs> cattles, and warm woolen mittens. 